In today's video, I'll make a side-by-side -side comparison between the new Samsung HWQ990B and Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with speakers and bass module. If you want more information about the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in video description. Stay with me till the end of the video to get the full comparison. So, let's get started with the video. The Samsung HWQ990B and the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with speakers and bass module are premium setups with amazing overall performances. So, no matter what you choose, you won't be disappointed. From Bose we have a 5.2.1 setup that is better built and a better soundstage performance, while the 11.1.4 Samsung comes with more channels so it has a more cinematic sound. Now, let's do a detailed analysis of each system. Looking at the main bar, we'll find its Samsung HWQ990B a premium design. The bar is made mostly from plastic, but has a metal grill that covers the front, sides, and the top of the bar. Overall the bar has an excellent build quality. It feels and looks more much premium than the fabric used on Samsung HWQ950A. The bar also has angled edges similar to its predecessor. When it comes to the dimensions of the bar, the Samsung HWQ990B is quite wide, most likely it won't fit between a 55-inch TV, but it can be placed in front of the TV, being not very tall, so it won't obscure the TV screen, unless the TV sits on the table. The bar features a width of 48.6 inches, a height of 2.8 inches, and a depth of 5.4 inches. The Bose 900 bar has also a premium design. The bar is made from metal and premium glass. The metal grills cover the front of the bar and the up-firing drivers on the top. The premium glass is located on top of the bar, thus giving it a premium feel. Being similar in size like the Q990B from Samsung, also this bar likely won't fit between the legs of a 55-inch TV. It is not very tall, so it shouldn't block your TV screen, unless the TV sits directly on the table. The bar features a width of 41.1 inches, a height of 2.2 inches, and a depth of 4.3 inches. Looking at the subs, form both we get wireless subwoofers, so you just need to plug it into an outlet. Since they connect to the bar wirelessly, you have more flexibility when arranging them in your room. The Bose Base Module 700 is made mostly from plastic, but on top you get a glass panel. The base module comes in two colors, all black and all white. It has a width of 11.6 inch, a height of 12.7 and a depth of 11.6. The Samsung Q990B subwoofer is made mostly from wood and on the right side it has an opening that has a more modern look, black is the available color. The subwoofer has a 8.9 inch width, a 16.1 height and a 16.2 depth. Moving on to the satellites, both soundbar systems have two satellites. The Samsung HWQ990B satellites have a similar build to the bar. They are made from plastic and metal grills on the sides. The top and bottom of the satellites have an angled design. They can be placed on the wall or on the floor. When it comes to the dimensions, the satellites features a width of 5.1 inch, a height of 7.9 and a depth of 5.6. The Bose surround speakers 700 connect to the bar wirelessly and have a different design, being tall and skinny. The satellites are made from plastic. Each satellite has a 1.9 inch width, a 5.6 height and a 1.9 depth. Both satellites need to be plugged into a power outlet in order to work. The Samsung HWQ990B remote is quite simple and lets you access many different features of the bar, but it's not in universal remote control. The Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with speakers and bass modules remote is smaller and lets you control some basic functions, but it's not in universal remote control. When it comes to the soundbar's physical inputs, the Samsung HWQ990B brings one optical audio in, one HDMI arcade, one HDMI out, two full HDMI in, but there is no analog audio in 3.5mm, no RCA in, no USB for files, and no Ethernet port. 
The Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with bass module and speakers brings one optical audio in, one HDMI arcade, one Ethernet port, but there is no HDMI out, no full HDMI in, no analog audio in 3.5mm, no RCA in and no USB for files. Both soundbar systems are premium setups with amazing overall performances. So, no matter what you choose, you won't be disappointed. For detailed information and up-to-date pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in video description. If you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon.